okay i told you about that superstar going to help us okay so that is not a superstar this is our rough fourth star that is this is a star which help us to learn the fourth table very easily okay as i said before we are reordering the ta table isn't it so uh, Uh, according to the se uh, series like from 1 to uh, 12 according to that we uh, if you are read it it will be very difficult okay so for that i'm just reorder the uh, that number uh, tables isn't it so first you have to read the two tables then you are going to uh, to the next you are going to jump to the 5 and 5 to 10 and 10 to 9 now we are going to study about the fourth table so what is the use of a reordering the a series means it will be a uh, help as to uh, memorize the tables as very long as okay <laughs> shall okay now we are going to uh, see about the the how this star help as to learn the fourth table okay so just listen this is a star i have drawn it here so but before uh, going into the concept i want to know, I, i want to clear about a one thing so uh, if i were uh, teach you then you will uh, go to your home and you will uh, practice isn't it so always uh, you are a small kids always you draw the stars like this isn't it children isn't it you will draw the stars like this but actually the stars you should be draw like in this pattern if you draw in this pattern only this star will help you to learn the fourth table if you do this means it is also similar but at a one point you will get confused okay this is also a similar but it at one point you will get a confused okay uh, this is the procedure to draw the uh, star please listen it This is a one slanting line, and you will be again a slant down slanting line. It is look looking like a uh, not a triangle. It is looking like a, a mountain, isn't it? So at this end, you are going to upward, and again you have going to the sleeping line, and you are going to join it the two point with the slanting line. This is a procedure to draw the star. Okay. Okay, so I have drawn these stars and also I marked some arrow marks. It how it's going to be work. It help us to uh, uh it's uh, it shows some a uh, path pathway. Okay, it's uh, to represent the way I've just put on the arrow mark. Okay, children. Okay, so see here I have drawn the stars and I marked as a one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Instead of ten, I put zero. This is zero. Or you can start with the number zero, one. In between these two triangle, in between these two triangle, also have you have to mention the number. Okay, in in between these two triangles. See here, the triangle and this triangle. Now I have in number I have represented here, isn't it? Should I put a number? I mentioned the number. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are a a nine. Now totally a ten edges. That is, if you started from a zero, it totally there are a nine points I have marked. Okay, so now. Okay, the first point. See here. Now the arrow mark goes to the number four. That is one. One into four is equal to four. One into four is equal to four. Okay. So next, the arrow goes to the eight. That is zero in sorry two into four is equal to eight. Okay. Now first the arrow marks goes to the four. So I mentioned one into four is equal to four. Now the arrow mark goes to the number eight. So two into four is equal to eight. So next. Moving to the number two. Now that is not two. It is a twelve. So three into four is equal to twelve. So why it is a three? How I mentioning? Means see here. This is a one. This is a two, and this is a three. So three into four is equal to twelve. Next, now the arrow mark goes to the number six. So four. 
4 into 4 is equal to 16. Okay, 4 into 4 is equal to 16. Next, 6 uh, from the 6, it's going to the number 0. So, fifth stroke. The 5 into 4 is equal to 20. Okay. So, next, from the 0, again it is coming to the 4. So, 6th six, sixth stroke. So, 6 into 4 is equal to 24. So, again, from the 4, it again goes to the 8. So, what is that number? 7 into 4 is equal to 28. Next, from that 8, it goes to the number 2. So, what is that? 8 into 4 is equal to 32. Next, from the 2, it again goes to the number 6. So, 9 into 4 is equal to 36. Next, 10th stroke, it again goes to the 0. So, what is that procedure? 10 into 4 is equal to 14. Okay, see here, now we have, uh, now we have got the fourth table. Okay, now you have some um, uh, doubt. So, I can get the point, first thing, there is a 4 and 8. So, how can I think after 8, how it will be a 12 means? Just assume the first two are a single digit number. Next two, it will start from the 1. Next 2, it will start from the 1. Next 3, it will be start from the number 2. Next 2, it will be start from the number 3. And last, it is a 4. It is a very easy to remember. See here, uh, first, it's a, first 2 number, it will be a single digit, 4, 8. Next 2, the number going to be start with the 1. And the next 3, the number going to start with the 2. And the next 2, the number going to start with the 3. And the last is a, always you know, this is a 4 and 0. Okay, this is the easiest way to learn the fourth table. Okay, so... This is a e I told you this is the easiest way to learn the fourth table. But you, ha you have to be very clear on a one thing. What is that means? For a each and every time. For example, I have got a uh, multiplication like this. 24 into 4. So, 4 into 4. So, now you are getting the 4 into 4. Now, you want to need the help of the fourth table here. So, uh, once you are seeing the fourth table, you again don't draw the stars and again don't write it. That is the waste of the time. This is the, uh, the star which help us to remember how the numbers goes here and there. This is the way you have to learn the star. Okay. So, for, uh, for every instant, if you are uh, keep on drawing the star and keep on putting the points and keep on uh, telling, okay, this is a one time, this is a two time, and this is a not at all used to study. Uh, have the, this is a not use of the this, this star. Okay. This is a star which help you to and remember about the number where it goes. Okay, just remember, just remember uh, on your mind how the stars looks like. This is a stars looks like. First, it comes 4, 8, 2, 6 and 0. So, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 34, 36, next for 40. Sorry, 36, next 40. Okay, so you have to remember these diagram in your mind. Instead of drawing the star each and every time, it really waste of time. Time. Instead of doing that, you have to remember this star and remember the pathway. Pathway means how it goes from 0 to 4, 4 to 8. It will, the, this is a pathway. So, how it, the line, uh, you have to remember about the pathway of the uh, star. Okay, so this is the best way to remember the fourth table and also not a best way. This is the uh, easiest method to remember the fourth table. 
okay so listen i have uh, drawn the star okay i have there are a 1 2 3 4 5 edges or there first edges means five triangles or there have from the center triangle top triangle i've marked as a zero and also you mark the number in between the triangles also you should not mention the number at the edge of the edge point okay you have to mention the number in between these two triangles also 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 okay so how it works from 0 to 4 that is a one time and second time it will go to the 8 and third time it will go to the 12 and the fourth time it will go to the 16 and the fifth time it will go to the 20 and again the uh, sixth time it going to the 24 next 28 32 36 and 40 This is the best practice to learn the fourth table. As I said before itself, don't uh, every time you don't need to draw the this pattern and write the fourth table. You just remember how it the pathways goes. Once you remember the pathway, you can automatically write the fourth table. Okay, children. Okay. So how many table we have completed? We have completed two table. Now we have completed the fourth table also. Next, five table, nine table, and tenth table. See here how many tables we have completed. We completed a five tables, and how many remaining tables from one to ten? Uh, one to ten, and I have the remaining five tables. We want to learn it, isn't it, children? So as I uh, started from the table two, the two is a very easiest table. You should not need any technique or any this diagramatic. form to learn the two tables what i told you in the two tables to read the two tables you want to know about the skip counting method you already for that uh your i think the first standard and second standard children will have these uh, portions like a uh, tables and multiplications you already read about the uh, uh, skip counting method isn't it skip counting method means skip count by 2 and you have read uh, skip count by 3 skip count by 4 5 10 you have uh, read it read it already i knew about that Okay, you already know well known about the skip counting by two method. That is the exact answer for the two tables and the fourth table. Now we have read about using the star diagram. Okay, next five table. So five table is a very easiest table because before you are going into the multiplication and time tables, you are you all read about the clock, how the clock is works, isn't it, children? You all read about the how the clock is works. so th- that is the main uh, thing the, the five table helps to uh, learn the um, clock so using the clock you can remember about the five tables and of course if you not read the clock also it is a very easy skip counting by five next is a nine table we have uh, seen about the ninth table so how the ninth table works so the first forward counting and the second digit is backward counting is a very easiest table isn't it children okay next we have read about the 10th table 10th table means is a nothing but we have to put 1 2 3 at the end we are going to put only the zero to the every number so this we have read the these five tables isn't it